and welcome back to Pocket Rocket Garage. Thanks for joining me again for the next video on the restoration of the classic mini sports pack. This time last week in the garage, it was minus one, but today it's 14 degrees. I just want to say a big thank you to all the new subscribers, and if you haven't already, please click on the subscribe button. Let's get on with the car today, so I better just change into something a bit more appropriate. Much better. Let's start today by removing the rear bumper and the rear lights. Okay, that's both the rear lights removed. Now let's get the bumper and the fog light off. It's a whopper. It wasn't my plan on taking this off, but once the car was jacked up in the air, I thought I'd just try and get it off. And it came off fairly easy, to be fair. It's a full stainless steel back box, and it does weigh quite a bit. I should imagine it's probably around five or six kilos, might be a bit more. I'm gonna weigh it and let you know. I couldn't resist to find out how much the exhaust actually weighed, so I just nipped outside and put it on the scales. If you think you can guess how much this back box weighs, please post your answers in the comments below and I'll let you know who's the closest or if anyone actually guesses the exact weight. My plan of action has always been to remove, clean and restore the parts as I go. This way, when I come to put the car back together in around five years, I won't have a pile of bits that need restoring. 
Now, I've been down to my local pound store and picked up this, which looks a bit like the product that I've used in previous videos, and it was only a pound. Let's see how it does. So I'm really impressed with these. Just after a good wash using a normal washing mitt and Meguiar's car wash, and also make sure you use a grit guard just so you don't pick up any more debris and grit from cleaning it and putting it back onto the paintwork. You can see the road rash and scuffs on this side. This will need looking at and repainting at a later stage. This wheel arch has suffered the same damage to the paintwork caused by road rash. I'm just going to grab the drill and try and take out this pop rivet that's stuck in there. Two down, two to go. Thanks everybody for watching the video. I haven't got as much done as I wanted today, so I'm a little bit disappointed. I just started to try and remove the front wheel arch. I haven't put that on the video because I just didn't get anywhere with it. The bolts are completely corroded at the back and most of the wing seems to be coming away with it. So that's to be continued. I've cut my thumb, so I'm gonna have a cup of tea and watch a film. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and you can also find me on Instagram. See you on the next one.